So I think we can go ahead and get started. So uh, if you're just uh, coming on, uh, as I just said, you can grab a yoga block, a pillow, uh, a rolled up blanket or a rolled up towel or something that is soft and comfortable uh, just that we will lay on to create a gentle expansion in the chest. So once you have that, you can uh, meet me on the mat. So I'll be using a pillow today. Uh, Let's go ahead and get started. And again, my name is Ellie. So come to line on your back. Uh, place your prop. And so for me, it would be the pillow at about shoulder uh, blade height or right behind your shoulder blades. You'll feel where it feels good in your body. And then bring your soles of your feet together to touch and allow your knees to fall open wide. If this isn't comfortable for you, you can extend your legs long if you prefer. Arms can rest on your belly, maybe they're by your sides, palms face up, it is up to you, make this feel comfortable. And if this chest expansion isn't working for you at all, you can just lie flat on the mat. So, once you find your posture, close your eyes, and give yourself a few moments to settle in. So bring yourself into the space. Be present with the sensations that are coming up. So notice any gentle expansion in your ribs. Slight opening in the front of your hips. Notice how as you breathe, your body shifts to make space for your breath. So your chest and your ribs expand, maybe even your belly. Just notice. And scan your body for any tension that you may be holding on to. Bring special attention and awareness to any tension in your face, around your jaw, maybe between your eyebrows. Some of us carry tension in our throat neck and chest, and give yourself permission to let go. Keep observing your breath. So as we move throughout class today, we'll be visiting a lot of different postures, and feel free to modify as you see fit, so do what you need today. Be mindful to take care of your of yourself. Take care of your body and listen to its cues. Listen to what it's telling you. So pay special attention that today we're not working with pain. So never forcing yourself into any position. Take it easy as you need to. We're here to take care of ourselves today. So today we're working with Ujjayi breath. So to engage this breath, seal your lips, constrict the muscles in the back of your throat. Take a deep inhale through your nose. Deep exhale through your nose. So keep breathing like this, it'll create a gentle sound, kind of like waves, kind of the ocean. It's almost like saying the letter H through your nose. A few more breaths here, noticing the sensations in your body. Paying attention to your breath. Commit to focusing on your breath throughout the rest of class today. Grounding yourself internally. So if your knees are open wide and your feet are together, you can guide your knees back to center with the help of your hand. And then roll up to either side for fetal position. 
gently make your way and then move your prop out of the way up off to the side. So fetal position, your bottom arm will be your pillow. Take a moment here and then press yourself up to a seat. So find a comfortable seat. You can sit on your heels, cross-legged. You can sit on a block or your prop, your pillow. Close your eyes if you reopen them. Keep listening to your breath. So scan your spine 360 degrees. Bring your mind's eye inside. Imagine your tailbone growing towards the floor and create space between each of your vertebrae and grow taller throughout the crown of your head. And then imagine your pelvic floor. So if your pelvis were a bowl, the very base of it, imagine lifting up in that space. And then draw your navel in towards your spine, engaging your lower belly here. So working with these two bandhas or these two binds or locks throughout flat today. Lifting up in the pelvic floor, engaging the lower belly towards your spine. Keep breathing space between your vertebrae. And then gently open your eyes. So let's make our way to tabletop pose. So come to all fours. Stack your shoulders over your wrists and your hips over your knees. We'll take a few rounds of cat and cow. So inhale, cow pose. Drop your belly towards the mat. Lift your tailbone. Lift your gaze. Exhale, cat pose, press the mat away, send your spine towards the ceiling, send your belly button towards your spine, maybe even gaze towards your tailbone. Inhale, cow pose, lift your tailbone, drop your belly, gaze up. Spread your fingertips really wide. Exhale, cat pose, press the mat away. Inhale, cow pose, drop your belly, lift your tailbone. Exhale, cat pose. Tabletop pose, neutral spine is where we're headed next. So even when you're in neutral spine here, take special attention to engage your lower abdominals to help support your spine. So from here, we're just gonna gently warm up the wrist by lifting the heel of your hand. So you can take a, a micro bend in your elbows if that feels okay for you. If doing both at the same time is too much, you can do one wrist and then the other. So I'll be guiding you through both wrists, but again, feel free to take one wrist at a time. So make sure your shoulders are directly over your hands or your wrists. Again, you can find a micro bend in your elbows. And then slowly, mindfully, just begin to lift the heel of your hand off the mat, pressing to all of your fingertips, take an inhale. Exhale, lower. We'll just do that two more times. Again, one hand at a time is just perfect. Inhale, lift the heel of your hand. Exhale, lower. Again, inhale, lift the heel of your hand. Exhale, lower. So spread your knees as wide as the mat, bring your big toes to touch. Child's pose, send your hips towards your heels, reach your fingertips far in front of you. Allow your forehead to rest on the mat, you can allow your belly to loosen here, give your wrists a break. So keep breathing, keep your attention on your breath, ujjayi breath. So this pose is here for you throughout class today. If you need to take a break, if you would like to reconnect with your breath, you can come back here. Extended child pose. So inhale, tabletop pose, shift your weight forward, stack your shoulders over your wrists. Exhale, turn your palms out to the side of the mat if that feels okay for you. If not, you can keep your fingertips facing the front of the mat. So option to stay here with your fingertips facing side. And maybe even find really, really gentle movement, or maybe flip your fingers all the way to face your thighs, or your knees. So taking special care here, being very gentle with yourself, warming up your wrist. And flip your fingertips to face the front of the mat again, palms down on the mat. Take an inhale here. Exhale, extend the child's pose, send your hips towards your heels. Taking inhale here. With an exhale, cat pose. So shift your weight forward, 
Send your spine towards the ceiling, gaze towards your tailbone. So stack your shoulders over your wrists, really press them out of it. Inhale, cow pose, drop your belly, lift your tailbone, gaze up. Exhale, child pose, hips towards your heels. Take it, inhale, child pose. Exhale, cat pose, shift your weight forward, stack your shoulders over your wrists. Inhale, cow pose. Exhale, child pose. Inhale, tabletop pose, neutral spine. So shift your weight forward, stack your shoulders over your wrists. Again, engage your belly muscles. Walk your uh, fingertips up and over to the right. Keep breathing. Send your hips down towards your heels. Side body stretch. Keep breathing. Come back to center for tabletop pose and walk your hands all the way up and over to the left side. Send your tailbone way down and back, side body stretch. So you can allow your head to hang heavy here. Maybe it reaches the floor, maybe it doesn't. It doesn't matter. Just feel the sensation in the side of your body. It's a very gentle stretch. Tabletop pose, neutral spine. Plant your palms underneath your wrists. Spread your fingertips really wide. So again, arms are shoulder width distance apart. Uh, curl your toes under. Downward facing dog. Send your hips high as you send your heels down towards the mat. You can find movement right away if that feels good to you. So maybe paddling out your feet. You can shake your head no, knock your head yes. Big good morning stretch for those of you Just waking up. So let's meet in stillness and downward facing dog. So feet will be about hip width distance apart. You can find uh, where it feels good for you. You might need to take your feet a little bit wider. Spread your fingertips really wide. Press your fingers down into that your entire hands. Broaden the back of your chest with the space between your shoulder blades. So spin your armpits to face each other or face your ears. Melt your chest towards your thighs. You can bend your knees a lot here. Engage your lower belly, lift up in your pelvic floor. So imagine drawing your heels even closer to the floor so they do not need to touch. It's just the action that's important. So this posture is very, very active. Lift up in your quadriceps. Keep breathing here. Take a deep inhale. And an exhale. Inhale, look to your hands. Gaze towards the top of your mat. Exhale, slowly walk to the top of your mat. So you can take tiny, tiny steps, maybe take tippy toe walk, maybe full heel ball toe walks. It's up to you. So we're meeting at the top. Feet are going to be hip width distance apart, so that's about two fists width distance you can measure. Bend your knees as much as you need here. Let's take ragdoll pose, so interlace your arms above your head, hang over. You can shake your head no, nod your head yes. Release tension from your shoulder blades. Switch off the grip in your arms, so take the opposite arm on top to make sure we're getting an even shoulder stretch. Keep breathing, noticing the sensations that come up in your body. Just observe them with kindness. Return your palms to the mat. So you can keep your feet here at hip width distance apart, or if you'd like, to heel your feet all the way together to touch. Bend your knees a lot, send your hips low, chair pose, lift your chest, reach your arms high overhead, hold here, keep breathing, glide your weight towards your heels, send your tailbone a little bit more down and back as you lift your chest, engage your abdominal muscles, spread your toes wide, keep your toes on the floor as you glide your weight a little more towards your heels, keep breathing, shoulders away from your ears. Mountain pose, gently mindfully lengthen your knees. Take an inhale here, exhale, sama sutihi, hand at heart center. Close your eyes. Standing at attention pose. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. Keep breathing here. Again, bring your mind's eyes to your spine. Think of finding length between your vertebrae as you lift up in your pelvic floor. Engage your abdominal muscles. Really press down through your feet. Engage your quadriceps. Grow taller through the crown of your head. Gently open your eyes. Inhale to Dasana Mountain Pose. Root down. Reach your arms high overhead. 
exhale, chair pose with airplane arms. So bend your knees a lot, send your fingertips behind you, your palms will face down, draw your shoulder blades towards one another. And your tailbone a little bit more down and back. Interlace your hands behind your back or interlace your fingers. Uh, try to cancel this face between your palms. So see if you can keep your palms together to touch. If not, it's okay. So inhale here. Exhale, melt your chest towards your thighs. And we're taking a forward fold with chest expansion. So take this as you need. You can keep your knees bent or maybe release your fingertips down to the mat. It's up to you. If you're not there already, release your fingertips down to the mat. Inhale, halfway lift, long spine, lower belly, and hold here, keep breathing. So option, keep your fingertips hovering on the mat. Maybe bring your hands to your uh, sh the shins or to your thighs. So take a micro bend in your knees to avoid your hyperextension. So really activate the backs of your legs or your hamstrings. Find length in your spine, tailbone up through the crown of your head, shoulders away from your ears. I know it's a lot. Take an inhale. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Keep your fingertips on the mat if that's accessible to you. Bend your knees a lot if you need. Shift your weight into your right foot. Mindfully step your left toes behind you for a low lunge on your exhale. Drop down your back knee. You can uncurl your back toes if you wish. Inhale, crescent moon, reach both arms high. Keep breathing here. Take another inhale. Exhale, half splits. Plant your palms on either side of your front foot. Shift your hips back, flex your front foot as much as feels good for you. Breathe into the belly of your hamstring. Allow your head to hang heavy. Low lunge is where we're headed next. Shift your weight forward, curl your back toes under, lift your back knee. And then we're going to move into forward fold. So this is a big motion. So make your way how you see fit. If you're ready to launch forward, bend your back knee a lot. Reach your fingertips far in front of you. Launch off your back foot, send your left foot to meet your right, forward fold, let's take the other side. Inhale, halfway lift, keep your fingertips hovering on the floor if that's okay. Exhale, moving into low lunge, shift your weight into your left foot, send your right toes behind you and down towards the mat. Drop down your back knee, inhale, crescent moon, lift your chest as you reach your arms high, keep breathing. Take an inhale here. Exhale, plant your palms on the mat. Inhale, exhale, moving into half splits pose, bend your front knee as much as you need. You can flex your front foot or point it, it's up to you. Low lunge is where we're headed, so shift your weight forward and bend your front knee, stack your front knee over your front ankle, curl your back toes under, lift your back knee. Reach your fingertips far in front of you. We're moving into forward fold, so get there how you need to. Otherwise, bend your front, or your, rather your back, knee to gaze forward. Inhale. Exhale, launch off your back foot, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Your fingertips can leave the mat if you wish. Exhale, high plank. Bend your knees a lot. Plant your hands underneath your shoulders. Send your feet way behind you. Hold here. Keep breathing. So bring your heels, hips, and shoulders into one long line. So you might find that you need to lower your pelvis down just a little bit. Engage your lower belly and take a deep inhale here. Exhale, downward facing dog. Send your hips high. Take an inhale. Exhale. Inhale to high plank pose. Shift your weight forward. Stack your shoulders over your wrist. So option to come down to your knees. We're going to lower all the way down to your belly. You're here lowering down for three. Hug your elbows and towards your rib cage for two. And one, mindfully release your belly to the floor. Uh, we'll take sphinx pose from here. So bring the, your forearms in front of you. And then think of keeping your palms and your elbows, or rather, palms are on the floor. Think of uh, each forearm parallel to one another. Bring the tops of your feet down into the mat. Think of dragging the mat forward, so really sending your chest forward, or rather, dragging the mat towards you. Keep breathing here. Slowly, mindfully release your hands, your elbows from the mat, your head towards your hands. You can shake your pelvis side to side if that feels good for you. Bring your palms underneath your shoulders. 
starts up in the tabletop pose, all the way back into child's pose, spread your knees wide, forehead to the mat. We'll just take an inhale here, and an exhale. Inhale, exhale. Tabletop pose on your inhale. Stack your shoulders over your wrists, spread your fingers wide, exhale, downward facing dog. Send your hips high as you curl your toes under. Melt your chest towards your thighs. Again, spin your armpits towards your ears. So three-legged dog on the right side. So equally press into both of your hands. Reach your right heel half. Think of squaring your hips as much as possible. Your bottom leg can be slightly bent if you need here. Keep breathing. Engage your right with your right hamstring. Take a deep inhale. Exhale, right knee towards right tricep. Take a deep inhale here. Shift your weight forward. Step your shoulders over your wrist. Engage your lower belly. Exhale, step your right foot on the outside of your right finger, your right hand. If you need to take your hand to help step your right foot forward, that's perfectly okay. So moving into gentle twists. So your left hand is the base. Inhale, reach your right fingertips high. Hold here, continue to breathe. Think of engaging your inner thighs towards one another. You're always welcome to take this on your bottom, your back knee down towards the floor. Keep spinning your chest towards your front thigh. Mindfully, now we'll all lower our back knee down towards the mat. Slowly begin to hover your left finger to off the mat as you lift your chest, keeping the twist. So twisting towards your front leg, towards the right side of your mat. You can keep your back toes tucked or you can untuck them, whatever feels better on your knee. You're always welcome to bring a blanket underneath your knee. So if this is enough for you, stay here. So listen to your body, do what it needs. If you're ready to move a little bit deeper, you can begin to tilt your right hand back towards your heel, maybe lifting your chest a little bit, maybe it reaches your heel or your ankle. Be mindful, this is a big stretch in your left psoas, left hip flexor. Slowly begin to lift your chest if you took the gentle back bend or the big back bend. Circle your palms down to the mat. So curl your back toes under, spin your back heel down to the mat. Your back heel can be at a 45 degree angle with your toes pointing forward or maybe your back outer edge of your foot is parallel to the back of your mat. Warrior two, lift your chest, reach your arms wide. Hold here, keep breathing. So let's set this up. So working with about heel to heel alignment, again, you can find a little bit wider if that feels better in your body. Everybody's a little bit different. Think of pressing it into the outer edge of your back foot. Step your front knee over your front ankle as you work towards a 90 degree bend in your ankle. 90 degree bend. 90 degree angle bend in your front leg. <laughs> Tongue twister for me today. Keep breathing here, gazing over your front hand. Inhale, reverse warrior, reach your right arm high. Keep the deep bend in your front knee. Think of lengthening your spine here. Take another inhale. Exhale, low lunge, circle your palms down to the mat. Lift your back heel off the mat, plant your palms, take an inhale. Exhale, downward facing dog, send your right foot back to meet your left. You're always welcome to take child pose. We'll take two breaths. Take a deep inhale. And an exhale. Again, inhale. Exhale. Three-legged dog on the left side. Shift your weight towards your right foot, but equally press into both hands as you lift your left heel high. Keep your hips as square as possible. Engage your lower belly. Again, press into all of your fingertips. You can bend your standing leg knee if that feels good for you. Take an inhale. Exhale, left knee, left tricep. Or maybe you are using your hands to bring your foot forward. It's up to you. Take an inhale here. Exhale, step your foot on the outside of your left hand. Moving into a gentle twist. Inhale, reach your left fingertips high, twisting towards your front leg. Hold here, keep breathing, engage your inner thighs towards one another. So it really activates your inner thigh. Slightly feel a stretch on the outside of your left hip here. And then if you're not there already, lower down to your back knee. Keeping the twist, slowly begin to hover your right fingers off the mat, lift your chest. Hold here, keep breathing. So option to stay here, option to tilt your twist mindfully, gently, bringing your back fingers towards your left heel, keep lengthening your spine. Good 
and turn your, back, your chest back to center. Take an inhale here. Exhale, circle your palms down to the mat. Turn your back heel down to the mat at a 45 degree angle or maybe parallel to the back of the mat. Warrior two. Lift your chest, stack your shoulders over your hips. Hold here, keep breathing. Find the stance that works for you with your feet. Think of pressing into the outer edge of your back foot to so engage your back quadricep. Steady gaze over your front fingertips. Inhale, reverse warrior. Reach your left fingertips high. Keep the deep bend in your front knee. Keep breathing. Take another inhale. Exhale, low lunge. Circle your palms down to the mat. Take an inhale here. Exhale, downward facing dog. Send your left foot back to meet your right. Take a deep inhale. Deep exhale. Again, inhale. Exhale. Three legged dog on the right side. Inhale, reach your right toes high. Listen, exhale, low lunge right away. So step your foot in between your hands this time. Again, you can always use one of your hands to help bring your foot forward. Spin your back heel down to the mat at a 45 degree angle, warrior one. Lift your chest, reach your arms high overhead. Hold here, keep breathing. So working to square your hips so your left hip forward and your right hip back. Engage your inner thighs, working toward the 90 degree bend. So reference for this posture is heel to heel alignment. You can take it a little bit wider. You are also welcome to shorten your stance, maybe stepping your back foot forward. Everybody's hips are a little bit different. So do what feels good to you. Take another inhale here. Exhale, warrior two. Readjust your feet as needed. You've been here before. Inhale, reverse. Warrior, reach your right arm high. Keep lengthening your spine. Exhale, extended side angle. So reach your front arm way forward and then down. Reach your left arm high. You can bring your bottom elbow to your thigh. Think of spinning your chest towards your top hand. You're also welcome to hover your right fingers off of the floor. Keep breathing here. You're lengthening your spine. Inhale, reverse warrior. Keep the deep bend in your front knee as you reach your right arm high. Exhale, low lunge. Stepping all the way back into downward facing dog. Send your right foot back to meet your left. Inhale here. And exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Left side. Inhale, three legged dog. Send your left heel high. Exhale, low lunge. Step your foot in between your hands this time. Spin your back heel down to the mat at a 45 degree angle. Inhale, warrior one. Keep your hips square to the front of the mat. Keep your shoulders square to the front of the mat. Right hip forward, left hip back. So find your stance on this side. Maybe taking it a little bit wider than heel to heel alignment. Maybe stepping your back foot forward. Think of pressing into the outer edge of your back foot. You might feel a stretch in the back of your calf, front of your right hip. Keep lengthening your spine. Bring the tension out of your face, so let go of your jaw. Take an inhale here. Exhale, warrior two, readjust your feet as needed. Reach your arms wide. Inhale, reverse warrior, reach your left arm high. Exhale, extended side angle, reach your left arm forward and down. Option to hover your left fingertips or take your elbow to your thighs. Keep spinning your chest towards your top hand. Think of reaching your top hand directly towards the ceiling in front of you. So your arm is perpendicular to the floor. Inhale, reverse warrior. Keep the deep bend in your front knee. Reach your left arm high. Exhale, low lunge. Stepping right back into downward facing dog. So plant your palms. Send your left foot back to meet your right. Take a deep inhale here. Deep exhale. Inhale to high plank pose. Shift your weight forward, set your shoulders over your wrists. Exhale, lower your knees down to the mat. We'll all take a child's pose. Send your hips towards your heel. Forehead to the mat. Take an inhale here. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Again, inhale. Exhale. 
Inhale to tabletop pose. Shift your weight forward. Step your shoulders over your wrists. Exhale, downward facing dog. Curl your toes under as you send your hips high. Inhale, look to your hands. Exhale, make your way to the top of your mat. So maybe take a slow walk. You can take a tiptoe walk, whatever you need. Forward fold. Your feet can be hip width distance apart or all the way together to touch. It's up to you. Bend your knees as much as you need. Inhale, halfway lift, long spine. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, chair pose, bend your knees a lot. Send your hips low, reach your arms high. Exhale, airplane your arms, send your fingertips behind you, just like we did at the beginning of class, draw your shoulder blades towards one another. Inhale, one-legged Tadasana, one-legged mountain pose. Lift your left knee high. So reach your arms high overhead. Press your right foot down into the mat. Send your left knee at a 90-degree angle from your left hip. Option to lengthen your front knee back feels good to you, or maybe you'd like to hold on with one hand. Keep breathing here, take an inhale. Exhale, moving into airplane pose. You're welcome to take a lunge that I will give you the option in one second. So airplane pose, shift your weight forward, spread your sta standing leg, or shift your chest forward as you send your standing leg down into that. Keep your hips square, your left hip down, palms face down. So option to be here, or you can take a lunge with airplane arms. So wherever you choose to be, keep squaring your hips down towards the mat. You're here for three. Moving into warrior one and two. And one, bend your front knee, step way back. Spin your back foot down the mat, 45 degree angle as you lift your arms high overhead. Take an inhale. Exhale, interlace your hands behind your back. Inhale, lift your chest, gaze up. Exhale, humble warrior. Bow forward, so make space on the inside of your right leg. Allow your head to be heavy. Work your palms together to touch. You might get your back foot off on the chest expansion here. Keep squaring your hips. So send your left hip forward and your right hip back. And then re-spin your left heel down in the mat. So it's almost going to feel like your left leg is spiraling in two opposite directions with your left heel going out and your left hip going forward. Mindfully lift your chest, unlace your fingers, inhale, warrior one. Exhale, warrior two, readjust your feet, maybe widen your stance. Inhale, reverse, triangle, lengthen your front knee. Exhale, triangle, pose, reach your right arm forward, and then down. So you can bring a block or a water bottle or some sort of sturdy structure if you want underneath your right palm to help support you here. So little to no weight in your bottom hand, especially if you're using or if you're touching your leg just a little bit, just because it's a little dangerous in the knee. So think of engaging your inner thighs towards one another. Find a micro bend in your front knee to avoid your hyperextension, so really activate the back of your leg. Again, think of spinning your chest a little more towards your top hand. Inhale, reverse warrior, re-bend your front knee, reach your right arm high. Exhale, low lunge, spin your palms down to the mat, listen. Lower your back knee down to the mat. Lift your chest, reach your arm high, crescent moon. Take an inhale. Exhale, crescent moon, revolve. So join your palms together at heart center, left elbow outside of your right knee. Spin your chest a little more toward, towards your hands. You're always welcome to curl your back to the center and lift your back knee if you'd like. So keep breathing here. Mindfully unwind, bring your chest back to center. Bring your palms to the mat and we'll take tabletop pose. Take an inhale here. Exhale, child pose, hips towards your heels. You can take a downward facing dog if you prefer. Take a deep inhale here. And then exhale. Inhale. Exhale. On your inhale, make your way to tabletop pose. Exhale, downward facing dog, curl your toes under, send your hips high. We'll just take a breath, inhale. Exhale. Inhale, look to your hands. Exhale, travel to the top of your mat. Bring your feet in between your hands. 
Inhale, halfway lift. Long spine, lower belly, and shoulders away from your ear. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, chair pose, bend your knees, center your flow as you reach your arms high. Exhale, airplane your arms. Send your fingertips behind you, palms face down. Inhale, one leg at Tadasana on the other side. So your left foot is your base. Send your right knee high this time. Really press your left leg down into that grow tall for your spine. Keep breathing. Again, option to straighten your front knee or maybe take your knee with your hand. Take a deep inhale here. Exhale, airplane pose. Shift your chest forward as you send your right foot behind you, draw your shoulders away from the ears. Think of a gentle upward facing dog or a gentle cobra pose rather. Just like engaging your, the muscles around your spine to help lengthen your chest. Engaging the muscles of your lower belly. You're here for three. Warrior one and two. And one. Bend your front knee, step way back. Heel to heel alignment if that works for you. Inhale. Exhale in. Release your hands behind your back. Inhale, lift your chest, gaze up. Exhale, humble warrior, bow forward. Keep spinning your back heel down to the mat and you send your right hip more forward. Send your left hip back. Engage your right quadricep. Keep breathing. Slowly, mindfully lift your chest, warrior one, on your inhale. Exhale, warrior two, readjust your feet. Inhale, reverse triangle, lengthen your front knee. Yeah, activate your inner thighs towards one another. Exhale, triangle pose. Reach your left arm forward and down. Keep your right arm where it is, but think of spinning your chest a little bit more towards your top hand. You can gaze down at your bottom hand or maybe up at the top one. Activate your inner thighs, micro bend in your front knee. So really active legs in this posture. Be a deep side bend, so be gentle with yourself. Only go as far as your body allows. Keep breathing. Reverse warrior, inhale, bend your front knee, reach your left arm high. Exhale, low lunge, again, listen. Lower your back knee down, crescent moon is where we're headed next. So inhale, lift your chest, reach your arms high. Exhale, revolving crescent moon. So join your palms together, heart center. Twist your chest towards your front leg, right elbow on the outside of your left. Option to stay here, option to curl your back toes under and lift your back knee if you wish. You can have your back toes tucked or untucked, it's up to you if you are it down. Every inhale, you lengthen your spine. Every exhale, spin your chest towards your hands. Take a deep inhale here. Exhale, lower your palms down to the mat. Tabletop pose, send your left knee to your right. Extended child's pose. Spread your knees wide, toes together to touch. Release your forehead to the floor. Take a few breaths here. Stay exactly as you are. Check. So give yourself permission to let something go here. Maybe it's any, it's some tension that is built up in your body. Judgment, negative self-talk, frustrations. Let go of the practice that has happened thus far. On your next inhale, make your way to tabletop pose. Step your shoulders over your wrists. Exhale, downward facing dog, curl your toes under and send your hips up. Inhale, look to your hands. Exhale, walk to the top of your mat. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, chair pose, bend your knees a lot, send your hips low, reach your arms high. Exhale, eagle on the right. So stay as you are, I'm going to face you. Um, this might be a mirror, so I'm going to say the side that I'm doing, but uh, be mindful that it might look a little different. I will check after, actually. So send your right arm underneath your left. Option to grab opposite shoulder, backs of hands, or bring your palms together to touch. Send your right leg up and over your left. You can kick stand 
your toes, hover them, or maybe take the second wrap. Once you find your position, lift your elbows away from your chest and your forearms away from your face just a little bit. It will increase the space between your shoulder blades. breathing here. Engage your abdominal wall to help support you. You're here for three. Mountain pose is next. In two. Coming all the way to stand in one. Mind you unwind your legs. Put both legs together to touch. Release your arms. Take your arms higher. Head inhale. Exhale. Samasiddhi. Hands up right center. Close your eyes. Allow your heart rate to beat at the rhythm that it is. Notice how with every deep breath it gets a little bit slower. Gently open your eyes, inhale, chair pose, bend your knees a lot, stand your hips low, reach your arms high overhead. Exhale, eagle on the left, so left arm underneath your right. Bring your palms either to your shoulders, back to the hands or palms. Each shoulder might feel a little bit different. Bring your left leg up and over your right, crossing at your thigh. So you can hover your foot here. You can kickstand your toes. Maybe take the second wrap around your calf. Elbows away from your chest, forearms away from your face. Engage your abdominals to help you. Find a steady gaze in front of you. Allow your focus to fix on one point, and then allow your gaze to also soften there. You're here for three. Tadasana, standing in two and one. Mindfully unwind, bring your feet together to test, reach your hands high overhead, take an inhale. Exhale, Samasti, hands together, heart center. Again, stay as you are. I'll rejoin you in facing the way that we were together. Keep breathing here. Inhale, Tadasana, mountain pose. Exhale, chair pose. Send your hips down and back as you bend your knees. Palms together at heart center. Moving into prayer twist, left elbow outside of your left knee. So option here, if your feet are, are hip width distance apart, you can also bring your elbow on uh, the inside of your left knee. So just finding a gentle twist in your spine here. Keep sending your chest a little bit more towards your hands. So working your hand towards heart center, but be careful not to force this position. Allow the muscles of your torso to help support you. Inhale, Tadasana, straighten both knees, reach both arms high. Exhale, Samasthiti, hands up heart center. A lot of chair poses today. Inhale, Tadasana. Breathe with it. Reach both arms high. Exhale, chair pose. Bend your knees a lot. Palms together, heart center. Prayer twist the other direction. Right elbow outside of your left knee. Spin your chest a little bit more towards your hands. Every inhale, you can lengthen your spine. Every exhale, twist just a little bit deeper. Keep breathing. So options here to be down side or maybe even up at the ceiling to test your balance. Keep squaring your hips on this side, send your uh, left hip forward and your right hip back. Inhale, Tadasana, lengthen your knees, reach both arms high. Exhale, forward fold, crown your head down towards the mat, bend your knees as much as you need on the way down. So if you're not there already, bring your feet hip width distance apart. Send, or bring your left palm to the mat and bend your knee, your left knee a lot. We're gonna take a gentle twist towards the right. Breathing into your right hamstring, send your right fingertips towards the ceiling. So option to stay here, maybe take a half bind with your right arm around your lower back. You can take full bind if that's in your practice, clasping both hands together. In any position that you are, maybe begin to straighten your left knee. So it's a big stretch in your right hamstring, right outer hip. Inhale, unwind your arm if you took a bind. Exhale, forward fold. We'll take the other side. Bend your right knee, right palm to the mat. Inhale, reach your left fingertips high. Exhale, option to stay here. Or maybe take a half bind. Maybe full bind if that's available to you. If you did so on the other side. Inhale, unwind your arm if you did so on the other side. 
exhale, forward fold. So option to stay here in a forward fold. Option if you uh, would like to take right dog pose, interlacing your arms. Otherwise, if you're ready for a gorilla pose, Padahastasana, one by one, uh, place your palms underneath the soles of your feet. So your palms will face up. So your palms and the soles of your feet will be touching here. Inhale to lengthen your spine. Exhale, mindfully draw the front of your closer to the mat. So again, you can stay in right bell pose if this is not what your body is calling for today. Release tension from your neck. You might use your biceps just a little bit to help guide the crown of your head a little bit closer. And then play with uh, where the weight on your feet is just a little bit. So notice what happens and what feels a little bit different. If you can rock your weight just slightly forward towards your toes, you might even give yourself a wrist massage. If that feels okay. One by one, release your hands from your feet. Place them back on the mat. Take an inhale here, maybe come into a half lift. Exhale, moving into downward facing dog. Send your feet way behind you. Inhale here. And then exhale. Inhale to high plank pose. Option to lower down to your knees. We're going to lower all the way down to our belly just like you did at the beginning of class. So shift your weight forward. So send your shoulders just in front of your fingertips. You're going to send your elbows towards the back of your of the mat. So your elbows and your triceps will gaze your ribcage on the way down. So we're lowering down for three, all the way to your belly in two, and one. So keep your fingers or your hands exactly as they are. Untuck your toes from the tops of your feet down into the mat. Send your pelvis down into the mat. Inhale to lengthen your spine. Exhale, gently lift your chest. So. Cobra pose. Hug your elbows a little bit more towards your ribcage, little to no weight in your hands. So maybe 20% of the weight, maybe a little bit less. You can even test to see if you can hover. Tuck your chin just a little bit, so careful not to be pulling yourself up uh, with the back of your neck. So really working on strengthening the muscles around your spine. These are great postures to counteract sitting computer or keep breathing here. Take another inhale. Exhale, release your left ear to the mat. Palms by your side, palm, palm, uh, arms by your side, palms face up. Allow your heels to fall open. Keep breathing. Relax your entire body. Turn your chin back to center. You can take cobra pose as you just did, or I'll offer you cobra pose with chest expansion if you wish. So if you're ready to take the first cobra pose we did, go ahead and move on in. If not, if you're ready to uh, take chest expansion, interlace your hands behind your back, take an inhale to lengthen your spine. Exhale, slowly, mindfully begin to lift your chest off the mat. Send your knuckles towards your heels. Press the top of your feet down into the mat. Press your hips down into the mat. Keep breathing here. Take another inhale, maybe lift up just a tiny bit higher. Exhale, lower your left ear down to the mat. Mindfully, slowly unlace your fingers. Allow your arms to rest by your sides. Let go of your legs. Your heels can fall open. Return your chin back into center. Bring your palms underneath your shoulder. Front up into tabletop pose. And then walk your hands back towards your knees. We'll take a seat. So let's bring your left sole of your foot to your inner thigh. So bring your right hand to your inner right leg. Flex your right toes. Uh, spin your chest to face your bent knee, and then reach your left arm up and over. So we'll take a big side body stretch here, hip stretch. Inner thighs, it gets, it gets everything. Keep breathing into this here. Again, careful not to force anything. Do what your body can do today. Lift your chest slowly. And then 
So bring your chest to face your front, your extended leg, your right leg, and bring your knee to your chest, and then up and over your right leg. You can place the sole of your foot on the mat. You can keep your extended leg straight, or maybe you can tuck your left or your right heel in towards your left hip. Okay. Make sure that both sit bones are on the mat here. If uh, not, then re-extend your right leg. So wherever you are, send your left hand behind you. Inhale, reach your right arm high. Exhale, right elbow or right tricep to your thigh, outer thigh. Take an inhale to lengthen your spine. Exhale, moving into a twist. Every inhale you lengthen, every exhale you twist. Be very gentle. Release tension from your jaw. See if you can create space by letting go in some places of tension that you're holding onto that you don't need. Still lengthening your spine. And gently unwind, come back to center. You can take a a baby counter twist if you need to. And then we'll switch sides. So left leg straight, right sole of your foot to your inner thigh. Left hand to your inner leg. Spin your chest towards your back knee, which is your right knee on this side. Reach your right arm up and over, side body stretch. Lift your chest, face your extended leg, hug your right knee into your chest and cross your foot over your thigh, bring your right hand behind you onto the mat, it could be on your fingertips or your palm, whatever feels more accessible to you, inhale, reach your left arm high, exhale, left elbow or tricep to your thigh, every inhale, lengthen your spine, every exhale, gently move into your twist. Again, listening to places of unnecessary tension, which can sometimes at first be hard to identify. I like to start with the face and the throat. I have to remind myself that my eyebrows won't help me to. Focus on Lengthening your lower spine as well here, so be mindful of the top of the pelvis. Slowly come back the way that you came. Send both legs forward. Let's scoot your pelvis a little bit more forward. We'll take a really brief boat pose to Vapana, so bring your hands behind your knees, lift your chest and lean back. So you can keep your uh, toes touching on the mat, lift your heels a little bit, maybe stay here. You can lift one foot, maybe the other foot you can play. Uh, or lift both feet. Maybe release your arms. You can lengthen your knees, lengthen your arms. Maybe both. Keep paying attention to your lower spine here. So lift your chest wherever you are. We're here for three. Lower all the way down through your back to your back and two. And one mindfully slowly release all the way down to your back. And then on your back, bring your soles of your feet up to the mat. Feet hip width distance apart. Heels behind your sit bones. Sit bones. Send your right heel high. Take an inhale. Exhale. Cross your right ankle over your left quadricep. So you can stay here, or maybe bring the entire structure towards your face, towards your chest. Again, you can thread your right arm through the triangle that your legs make. You grab behind your left knee. Flex your right foot to help protect your right knee. Slowly release, both feet down to the mat. We'll take the other side. Inhale to reach your left heel high. Exhale, cross your left ankle over your right, right quad. Stay here or bring the whole structure towards your chest.
use both feet down to the mat. Happy baby pose. So bring both knees into your chest, send your heels towards the ceiling. You can capture the outside edges or the inside edges of your feet with your hands, maybe somewhere on your shins or anywhere that's accessible to you to make this feel good. And then focus on lengthening your whole spine on the mat so your tailbone all the way through the crown of your head. Of course, your neck will be really soft the mat. Back of my neck just a little. And then hug your knees into your chest, releasing your feet through your shin. Wrap both arms around your shins, lift your head, neck and shoulders off the mat. Give yourself a big hug, a big squeeze, and then take in a breath of air, hold it at the top. Take in another sip to help create compression. Exhale, Shavasana, final resting posture. So release everything to the mat. Take up lots and lots of space. Spread your legs wide, spread your arms wide. Let go. Close your eyes. You're welcome to grab a blanket if you need to keep warm. Give your body another scan for tension. Let go. Allow your breath to return to its regular rhythm. Notice how free you can become when you're in stillness. If thoughts come up, you can thank them and let them pass by. Maybe bring your attention back to your breath. Or maybe bring your attention to the sensation that your body is so still that it almost seems to disappear into the space around you. Welcome to stay here in Shavasana for as long as you like, uh, as long as you need. So I really encourage you to take the time if you have it. If you're ready to be guided out, begin to deepen your breath and find small movements in your body. So maybe in your fingers, spurs, your toes, perhaps even starting from your spine. And then as you're ready, roll over to one side for fetal position. Just as we did at the beginning of class, your bottom arm is your pillow. Press yourself up to a seat. So find a comfortable seat. Join your palms together at heart center. Release your shoulders away from your ears. Grow your spine long. Tailbone down into the floor. Imagine the entire base, all the places touching the bottom, uh, touching the floor of your body. Imagine it melting more into the floor as you grow taller. Really finding this grounding sensation physically. So one last unified breath, exhale all the air from your lungs. Take a deep inhale through your nose. 
Open mouth, exhale, let it go. Raise your thumbs to the right center of the space between your eyebrows. And with gratitude, we bow forward. Namaste. So thank you all so much for being here. Uh, it's a pleasure to guide you through on this platform. Uh, and I will see you next Friday. And write any comments uh, if you have any questions about the practice or